Hi you lovelies, in today's video I'm going to show you how I transform these free Poundland items into lovely Christmas items for your home. The first craft I'm doing is the cocktail fish bowl and I'm just using my Mod Podge. I've poured it into the inside of the bowl and I'm turning it here to cover the entirety of the inside of the bowl. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I could cover the bowl in glitter, but I didn't want the glitter to be on the outside of the bowl, so you're getting glitter all over your house. The fact that I've poured it on the inside, what I'm doing now, um, stops it from sprinkling all over the place. So I'm just turning the glitter around to try and cover as much of the bowl as I can. Just to give you an idea, this actually took two days to dry. I did put a little bit too much mud podge on. So um, if you're going to try this out, just use less. Now I'm using my Cricut and I've chosen a snowflake design to put on the cocktail bowl because I'm actually turning it into a giant Christmas bauble. So I really like the idea of snowflakes. If you don't have a Cricut, the next best thing I would suggest to use is window stickers. You get snowflake window stickers in Poundland or any other design that you choose and you could just stick those onto the, the Christmas bauble like I'm doing with the Cricut. So I'm just peeling off all the cutouts. My son helped me film that, that was very kind of him. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing the topper of the Christmas bobble, you know, the, like the bobble cap. And I'm just using cardboard. I couldn't think of anything else. I didn't have any plastic or things to use. So I used my pinching scissors, is that what they're called? Pinching scissors, I think, to make a sort of jagged edge so it looked like the, the metal clip-ons of the the cap of the bobble and I'm just sellotaping it together here. <laughs> That's my son Dexter's handy. He's always watching what I'm doing while I'm crafting. <laughs> so that's it fitting on the top of the bobble there. To give you an idea, that's what it's going to look like. And what I did was I doubled it up so it was like a more robust ornament so it wouldn't get dented easily. So I thought if I doubled up it would make it a bit firmer. And now I'm just drawing round to make the lid of the cap. Um, I cut round a little bit further than the line just so it would definitely fit for the glue. This is me adding on the snowflakes that I cut out. As you can see it's dried really well and it's all sparkly. I was really worried that it wasn't going to dry, but it did, <laughs> finally. And I just really like that, the white snowflake on the sparkly glitter. So I did six snowflakes all together to go around the entire bobble. that is. <laughs> nice and festive. Now I'm using the hot glue to make the cap of the bauble. And now I did 
decided that the cap was too plain so most baubles have like a little design on the top and I was having a look on Google and they were actually mostly snowflakes but I didn't want to have snowflakes on the bobble and snowflakes on the cap so I just did my own design which was a cross with little dots all around the cross so uh, it ended up looking a bit like a crown and that's what I had in my head that I wanted it to look like a crown <laughs> decided that the top it was still looking a bit plain so I did a sort of half circle all the way around and then I decided the top was too plain so I wanted to do little beads of dots all the way around so it kind of looked like pearls once I paint it. I had originally thought that I was going to spray paint it gold but then I just thought it would merge in with the bauble too much and I actually really liked the white cap with the white snowflakes so I used my white French chic paint and it's really good, it's fast drying as well. Now I'm adding a sparkly ribbon to hang the bauble if you were going to hang it like on the tree. So I'm just tying underneath and it goes quite well with the gold that's on the bauble. I'm hot gluing round the opening of the cocktail bowl just to attach the cap. A giant Christmas bubble for under three pound. This is me just mixing paint for a gingerbread colour. I didn't have that colour in my paint stash, so just added lots of browns and oranges and reds until I got the the colour that I thought looked most like a gingerbread man. And this is just a little wooden gingerbread man that I got from the works. It was in a set of loads of different Christmas shapes. Just leaving that to the side to dry. And then this next craft is, you all know I love my chopping boards and my <laughs> wooden spin crafts and I like to do them for each season so I've decided that the kitchen decoration this year is going to be gingerbread and candy cane so I'm painting the chopping boards white this time and the spoon as well and then what I've done is use my painter's tape to do a kind of candy stripe design on it and I'm just using the spare bit of tape as a spacer and I've chose a nice candy red colour and just painting in the stripes there. I was a bit impatient here, the white paint hadn't fully dried <laughs> so it bled a little bit but it's okay, it's just for me, it's not for anyone else. I'm doing the same on the spoon as well using the spacer candy stripe all the way up take the painter's tape off before it dries so it doesn't peel the paint off. Next 
next here what I have is it's a printouts free printables from Pinterest and I just typed in gingerbread free printables and I like this design so I printed that off with my printer and I'm just using my decoupage to attach it to the chopping board and I just thought it was so sweet the little gingerbread man in the truck Of a smaller version of the same design for the wooden spoon and just cut it in the shape of the wooden spoon. It was quite tricky, you're not going to get this completely flat because it is paper, it's not tissue paper. So it, it's not it's not overly noticeable, but I did notice it a bit myself that there's a little bit of creases. I tried to stretch them out as best I could. And then I'm just giving it a top coat of the decoupage to seal it in since it's in the kitchen. And I did the cute little gingerbread that I painted earlier. I'm just giving the wooden spoon a top coat of the decoupage. Just seals it in nicely. Madden Baker's Twine, it was from Poundland as well. It's a nice candy stripe, red and white. I just thought I finished it off nicely. That's a completed craft there. This next craft is super easy. It's bells from Poundland, jute string from Poundland and uh, little snowflakes I got from the works. And I just thought it would be quite a nice sort of Christmas country themed garland. Just nice, simple and easy. So I'm tying the bell, leaving a little space, tying another bell and then putting a snowflake in between each two sets of bells. The boys actually love this craft because they love the sound of the bells, it's, it's so pretty. I didn't want to add glitter to the snowflakes, you can if you wanted to, if you wanted to, or paint them to match your colour theme, but I just thought it was quite nice and a neutral design with a plain natural wood. Love that sound. And that's the completed craft. There's all free. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, can you please give me a thumbs up? And you haven't subscribed, please do.